Well, parish priest Father Chris O'Donnell has described a blanket of sadness over the town of Kilmallock after 29-year-old Dylan McCarthy lost his fight for life yesterday afternoon. He had been seriously injured in an attack by a number of people in the town of Monasterevin in County Kildare just after midnight on Sunday. The family were in Monasterevin marking the birth of Dylan's new nephew. His father Eamon was also seriously injured in the attack. Thankfully, his injuries are described as non-life-threatening. Now, people here in this community who know this, uh, what they describe as a quiet and well-respected family, are struggling to understand how they became the victims of this brutal assault. Terrible tragedy. Such a nice family. Nice young fella. He played GAF there for the, the local junior team. It's just disgraceful. I mean, nobody can go out now without fear of, of something happening. I mean, my children go out now, you'll be thinking... Is this going to happen to them? You know, it's a pity. It's pure shame and, you know, God have mercy in his soul. I taught him as a young primary school pupil. Very nice, quiet lad. We're all completely shocked. Like, he's absolutely lovely young fella and just can't believe it. Can't believe it. He's not somebody to go looking for trouble or anything. You know, he's a very quiet lad, yeah. It's like a blanket of just sadness. There's just devastation. People are heartbroken, absolutely heartbroken. There's nearly nobody it doesn't affect, you know. And like I say, Dylan, he's like everyone's son because every parent is just looking at this and hopefully holding their youngsters a little more closer tonight. The Guardi have gathered CCTV footage which shows the assault. They've also renewed their appeal for information and they say that the results of a post-mortem examination due to be carried out today will determine the course of their investigation. Uh, Dylan is also survived by his sister Orla and his mum Marita and father O'Donnell uh, told me today that his mother Marita, who is very active in the parish here, is taking some comfort from the fact that six people are benefiting from the donation of her 29-year-old old son's organs.